Whoa, I did not know Goku played Swim League as well. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we are playing Swim League. So in Swim League, we will have pets that give us muscle boost when working out. And also, we will have trainers that will cost us gems to unlock. I'm going to assume we gain gems through tasks or by buying them with Robux. They look pretty unique. And what? Harley Quinn is one of our trainers? What? But you know what? She motivated Joker every day to get up. So maybe she could do the same for us at a growth rate of 400%. Yo, that's that's crazy do you guys think i should buy it it does cost a lot of robux seven thousand. wow yeah i don't know i'm going to assume these rank up arrows are the body alters but in this case they are called divers so we will refer to them as divers and we are on novice at the moment so before we can compete we need to train chest back abs arms and legs so we only have five muscles to work out and surprisingly we don't have stamina to train which is awesome actually this means we can train for much longer and we can see down here for every diver we unlock our power gain grows as well which is awesome too we also have gears we can equip but in this case they're called equipment we don't have any yet but i've seen people do the swimming competition and walk out with some and i assume we get them there then we have skins we do have a bunch but i find it weird they're called skins but the first one is called diver i feel like if they called them divers it would have been way cooler like instead of aqua explorer they could just call it aqua diver or tidal titan call it tidal diver i don't know just something random i found interesting oh let's go we even have online rewards like gym stars that is so awesome and can't forget the daily weekly quests with achievements which honestly surprises me a little they have this it almost feels like they combine gym league and gym stars into one game and can't forget the place where i can empty my bank account and yeah we also have the option to buy gems here we can also buy some pets but i'm going to be honest this is probably pointless since you can trade in this game i believe we also have boost but i find it interesting pets are called gotcha isn't that a game in itself i think it's called gotcha life our pets that's in roblox called gotcha also yeah i don't know if you guys know let me know down in the comments below and ooh, the game passes honestly just looking at it i would buy the double train and vip so we got vending machines here as well where we could buy pokeballs what do these not look like pokeballs to you oh and we got leaderboards too but as you can see people are try hiding them already but maybe we can enter them in the future i wonder what gym they're in honestly so the first workout we got is legs because legs is the most important muscle in my opinion but as we can see we have no free auto trainer so they are taking gym league steps instead of gym stars before on your robux for an auto trainer might be a little bit too expensive but here it tells you speed two times as well so i wonder if you get two abilities in one but yeah the legs workout is a typical leg press machine oh that is awesome you can stack more weights at the top rack like in real life which would mean legs are the fastest muscle to level up because i think the others can only do five plates while here it's 10 plates you know what i'm gonna do a swimming competition real quick to see what it looks like because i I know i'm going to lose anyways whoa these animations look amazing and it's everyone warming up as well but like i said before i have no chance and yo bro that guy is zooming nah but regardless i think it looks good but as expected i got last place and wow that winner table looks awesome and i only got ten dollars that is so bad okay first this back workout looks crazy i've never seen something like this in real life before normally you do this standing up but there's no way this workout is real yeah i couldn't find one even close to it in real life because i've been working out for a while and i've just never seen this workout done before if y'all know let me know because i do like learning new things but i doubt you'll find this in real life Ooh, check out the back definition the details actually look pretty good but yeah we completed back let's move on to chest whoa what is going on with my arms bro that form is terrible if this was real life my arms would have been broken yo swim league what you got me doing am i doing chest or shoulders i just tried doing this workout in real life and my dog just stared at me confused <laughs> yeah i agree i'd be confused too but yeah chest max style let's go to the next workout which should be abs on the other side wait bruh i didn't max out legs i just trolled so hard i didn't even notice i moved on without completing them after trolling i just finished legs and now i can show you guys the abs workout okay this abs workout in real life goes crazy this would actually leave you extremely sore so i like the fact they use this workout instead of the typical crunch workout other gym games use but what i think is awesome i just noticed this is behind us we have a tv that tells us how long we've been working out but my only complaint is this workout is one of the slower ones because again we can only use five plates instead of 10 like legs so i'm not sure maybe they need to balance it out a little now for the last workout is 
arms and then we can move on to the next diver or next skin whatever you want to call it i'm telling you calling it diver is way cooler yo this workout is crazy like if you lift weights in real life and did this workout as the last one this would probably make you pass out but pass out in a good way this would give you the ultimate pump in real life so great job swim league this workout is awesome to see in game pretty sure i'm going to lose but hopefully we can beat at least one person and ah they are so fast so we still got last place and bruh i still got ten dollars i guess you only make more money if you pass another swimmer and not just become stronger all right so let's move on to the next diver and we will have a power gain of 25 percent and bruh is it going to ask me every time to make swim league my favorite game and buy a new pet so now we're on aqua explorer but one thing i admire about swim league is you could go back to the older divers you unlock even though i barely have enough money i'm going to get two pets from the mid-tier vending machine because any boost is good but oh wow i got a pig which is a 1.6 times boost huh not really sure if that's any useful but any kind of boost is good i guess oh that's right i can't forget my quests and achievements i'm actually getting a ton of muscle and money boost doing this however i think i'm going to save the boost until i really need them well when i mean i need them i mean when swim league feels like it's slowing down a little in muscle growth so now we have two pets which are pigs which look pretty cool but they remind me a lot like the pets from gym stars but bro we need to get a trainer soon i'm not sure if i should buy the cheapest one or just save up money oh alex is free from the daily rewards so i'll just wait for her instead wow that's clutch actually there's currently bugs in this game but the one thing that's hard to ignore is the lag for some reason the servers have way more people than they could handle i wonder when the developers are going to fix this because sometimes my screen freezes randomly okay next diver is complete we have finished the aqua explorer and now we can unlock the next one that will give us a power gain of 50 percent i'm going to try one more time to do a swim competition but i think after this i'm going to just grind working out to finish the first gym of swim league fast and yep of course everyone zooms past me and oh finally i'm about to be someone let's go hopefully i make more money ah uh, let's go i made 50 dollars that's so much more than 10 dollars opening a pokeball to get one more pig nice so now we have three and should have a noticeable boost now i mean i'll get better ones later on or in the next gym working out right now is pretty fast without using any boost from that swim competition i got equipment which is cute wings and it gives me a bad growth of 1.14 times but honestly i wish i had equipment for arms or abs because those take way longer than back to work out i'm telling you there will be a massive nerf soon on the way we gain power fast because if i were to buy some battle passes we will probably be on gym 3 right now but i just want to explore the game first you know but we finished wave wanderer and now we can move on to the next diver leveling up gives us a power gain of 75 percent which you can actually feel the difference and it is going to ask me every time about this pet bro no i don't want your weak times 18 pet swim league you know what i'm going to try a boost for the first time i'm going to use a super energy drink because well it's the only one that gives me a chest boost but the boost isn't long it's less than five minutes but it is a 50 percent boost however we are also getting 15 percent boost from the friend boost right now as i said before the servers are broken right now so like my entire friends list is just constantly joining and trying out swim league i am at 28 million total power and one thing i noticed is how did i get those pets i did not use the pet vending machine did we get these pets as gifts or from the swim competition huh yeah i have no idea all right it's game time and yeah goodbye everyone you thought i was going to stay slow forever and yo look at that bar how fast i'm going <laughs> oh wow and we got first place so easily and we made 2.5 thousand dollars with new equipment earned at the same time nice so we did complete crest conquer and we will receive our power gain of a hundred percent which i think this might be the last diver i will complete for this gym before we go to the next one. Oh, we just got a bunch of equipment to wear we got goggles that gave us a chest boost which not sure how that's possible and a q hat that gives us an arm growth which again not sure how that corresponds with your arms and the q belt we already have that gives us an abs boost which makes the most sense compared to the other two like i said before i have no idea how we got the 4.2 and 2.5 times pet but hey i'll take it you can't complain about free stuff you know now we are going to move on to the second gym which will cost us seventy five thousand dollars, and that is called the cyber knight wow this gym was like a dance party kind of a weird place to put a swimming pool but you know what i 
still like the design so right now we're on the flood force and we need 20 million power in each muscle but right now we have about six in each and we also have a power gain of 100 percent, so it should be pretty fast to get to the next diver also remember instead of calling them body alters or skins i just called them divers because i thought it was cooler we also have the same machines from the first gym so i think every gym has the same workouts but the first one i'm going to do is back because i just think this back workout is so unique you know what i'm about to try this workout in real life i just know everyone is going to look funny at me if i do this in the gym i love doing legs it's such a fast workout to complete because for some reason it's the only workout that could do 10 plates while the rest do five but hey i ain't complaining it's awesome all right flood force is finally done and like i said before it was pretty fast and we will get a power gain of 130 percent and of course swim league is trying to make me buy the pet bro that pet is gonna be outdated so fast soon i wish they took it out of the overlay it's kind of annoying i think later on i'm going to do the swimming competition to get better equipment because the equipment i'm currently wearing is from the first gym and they're getting pretty outdated but i think i'm going to wait until i notice it's taking too long to work out i'm also not using the in-game auto trainer because it's slower than manually clicking oh finally we got alex i didn't feel like buying one but she gives us an abs growth of 25 percent and chest growth of 10 percent but it might not be much but i'm pretty sure later on we can upgrade her so when we upgrade her the bonuses we can get are way better i've also been claiming my rewards and i am starting to use boosts but majority of them i'm saving them instead because well i'm probably going to need them way more for the final gym than now oh this workout is so slow like i think they should add 10 plates to this because we can only do five which doesn't really help either maybe it's just me but i'm pretty sure this one is either the slowest or second slowest in the game now that is title titan done and we can now move on to level seven for a power gain of 160 percent Ooh, maybe soon we could get a 300 percent boost from the divers we upgraded to ebb enforcer and now we need four billion power for each muscle um i think soon we should try to move on to the next gym because i might outgrow this gym but i think this gym will still be good for this diver especially with the 160 percent power gain boost oh almost forgot we got a spin wheel but yeah we get all our rewards pretty fast if you have 10 spins saved up it'll just give you them instantly which is nice to see it saves us time i got a decent amount of boost so i might use a few at a time because i do want to gain as many divers as possible in these 15 hours i want to try to unlock three gyms today but what i really should be doing is using the boost when working out arms due to it being so slow working out legs is always fast but one thing i just realized is every trainer's boost is different muscles honestly i forgot that but i only have 2k gems so i don't even have enough to buy the first one my arms are complete and so is this diver that's ebb enforcer done but what does ebb stand for huh i feel like i've seen that name before but with this upgrade we will now get a power gain of 190 percent nice so we are on surge savior and this diver is the eighth one of swim league so we are almost halfway done with the divers of this game all right i did some swimming competitions to earn some new equipments because the equipments are actually pretty decent in this gym oh yeah we just got a bunch of new items and money but i'm pretty sure our equipment is going to make us look like a robot but let me equip them and show you yeah now we got metal shoes and wings and honestly i like how this looks we did get 4.12 million dollars and i'm going to get some pets on the highest vending machine and after i waste all of my money i will return wow that was fast but i used all my money and surprisingly i thought the pets would be way stronger but one thing i like about swim league is we could level up our pets so instead of deleting pets we don't use we could just add them to our best pets to make them better so yeah this is a pretty unique feature i've seen so far now our strongest pet is a level 17 which does increase its muscle boost so that is perfect for us until we go to the next gym and get a stronger one i wonder if they will add new weights similar to gym league like in gym league we have galaxy weights and divine weights so i wonder if we'll get something similar to speed up the training process well hopefully they aren't that overpowered maybe just something that speeds up the slow workouts a little bit all right we finished this diver and search savior is complete and next we have level 9 which will give us a 220 percent power gain boost yo wow that is going to be interesting to see i think now i'm going to do some swimming competitions because i think it is time to move on to the next gym in the last diver i felt kind of slow working out once i feel like the grind is taking too long it's a pretty good sign to move on that should be the last one and we are making over 1 million dollars and yup 1.25 million dollars which honestly is pretty fast for our money in swim league all right so the next gym will cost us 37.5 million dollars yikes but we have enough and the next gym is a snowy map Ooh, that is nice i just noticed i'm in a snowy gym and i'm still in my swimming outfit yeah ggs i'm going to get sick and not be able to work out or maybe i have superpowers that warm me up all right we just ran into a problem for some reason when i work out my back i don't have enough power to work out like what like every other workout works fine but the back for some reason
some reason isn't working. Huh. That's kind of weird, but let's go back, I guess. I'm going to just do this diver in this gym because it shouldn't be that much worse when gaining muscle. All right, that actually took a while, but we finished Catalyst of Currents. And we will be moving on to level 10 for 250% power gain. Whoa, we are almost at 300%. Oh, I could level up Alex, who is my trainer, from 25 to 30% for abs and 10 to 50% for chest. Oh, yeah, let's do it. And it will cost us gems and trophies. Alex now has abs growth of 45% and chest growth of 30%. But we used up all of our trophies. I was wondering before what the point of trophies were, but now I can see it is to upgrade your trainer. But you also need gems, and getting gems takes some time to gather them. Right now, I got 5.75k gems, but I think the next trainer I'm going to buy has to be a combination of arms and back because those are slower than legs. I mean, I could get a leg trainer, but legs feel faster already, so I don't see the point. Could you imagine I was wrong the entire time and all workouts train at the same pace? I mean, I could be, but it doesn't feel like it. Finally done with this diver, and this means Guru of Go is done and the next diver is going to give us 300 power gain finally i feel like from here on now we're going to gain power pretty fast i think now i'm going to do some swimming competition early so i can get some pets because i have a feeling even with 300 boost it'll take us some time to get to the next diver all right we only have enough money to do one mid-tier vending machine and we get wow a time 77 uncommon pet that is way stronger than the pets we have now but funny enough this is one of the worst pets in the gym i think i'm going to start using some boost because i just want to get through this gym quicker i have a lot of boost so i should still have plenty left over for the last gym as much as i complain that arms are super slow this angle of me lifting with the current equipment looks kind of cool also the snow coming down gives it a cool effect all right with abs done we can now move on we just finished turret tamer and we went from 300 to 350 percent power gain wow it is starting to increase at a higher rate i just did a quick competition and made 125 million dollars which i think is enough to do one spin on the high tier vending machine and let's see if we get lucky and whoa Oh, just got 140 times epic pet yo now nah, we're going to finish this gym way faster now nah i can see the difference even though we're on the trillions i can see how fast it's going i also feel like i'm filling up the red bar fast for infinite reps something i just realized i was getting 125 million dollars for every swimming competition i think it might be time to buy the next gym because number one it feels slow when i work out now despite getting that times 140 epic pet and second 125 million dollars is a lot of money and it should be fast to gather enough money to buy the next gym let's go check it out and wow it is 18.75 billion dollars nah that is actually going to be fast to get let's go get the money to unlock it i think i'm going to use a money boost to see how much more i get and to be honest i want to unlock the next one as soon as possible because well the 15 hours are almost up swimming competitions are pretty fast if you are high level in the current gym because you can just zoom past everyone so fast also if you exit the swimming competition instead of just waiting you can re-enter the competition so earning money is faster finally i could go and buy the next gym i currently have 1.57 qa total power so today we did some pretty solid progress 18.75 billion dollars down the drain and now we have unlocked the desert mirage wow nice we are in a village in the desert so we went from a very cold gym to a very hot gym oh but hopefully the new equipment here can give us some clothes to look like a mummy because that would be awesome to wear for some reason swim league has been lagging super hard for me since the roblox servers went down i realized i wasn't recording but some times my player would randomly start doing swim events while working out it was the weirdest thing ever but i'm just going to blame roblox on that speaking about swimming i wanted to do some competitions to get pets early before i work out because for some reason pets are insanely strong on swim league so it's almost a must to get these new pets now let's go check what we get from the low tier vending machine we only have enough money to do one because i'm just too weak to make more money you need a certain level to beat the next swimmer and we just aren't close but for our spin we get a times 550 uncommon pet whoa you know what we are looking pretty good Good, but now my main goal is to unlock the last gym of swim league but we are still free to play so it does take us some time i've been offered pets by multiple people and others still consider that free to play so maybe i'll accept their offer i do think i might buy some game passes because at some point this will get incredibly slower bro this is so annoying i don't have enough strength to lift weights here i completely forgot just because i unlocked the next gym it doesn't mean i could use it for some muscles all right we are back to the snowy map which is a previous gym from the desert one and once we finish the diver body altar 
pressure here we should be good to go oh man that took some time but we just finished our legs and this should be the last workout of this gym i did end up using some boost to speed through this so it wasn't that bad but now we have completed champion of current so we'll be gaining a power gain of 400 percent yo that's wild hopefully i don't go back because i never liked going back to old gyms to work out bro there's no way i'm still too weak we have to go back and finish more diver body alters or else we just can't work out there like how many do i have to do before i'm strong enough to work out here before i go i'm going to do swimming competitions to see if i can get some pets if i can make some money here and then open some pokeballs and get better pets and the other gyms will be way easier to complete maybe just maybe we could get some pets with 1000 muscle boost we did get new equipment that will give us muscle boost as well so that's always nice to get i need to make sure i equip them though because last time i still used the weak ones i got before and i didn't even notice it till hours later we need to get a few pets and i do have enough money to use the mid-tier vending machine and let's see what we got and it's a time 770 pet bro it's also uncommon i don't have enough money to do another spin so i'm just going to do the weaker one because well i just want to start working out but nice we got a time 600 rare pet which is way weaker than my uncommon time 770 pet i just got all right we did a few more rolls so we at least have way better pets now the pets i had before were nowhere close to the new ones i just got so upgrading your pets at all times is worth it now that i think about it i wonder what's the strongest pet in swim league maybe one day i'll just farm money in the last gym till i get it because i'm really curious all right we just finished and let's hope that this is the last time that we train here but every gym has a bare minimum amount of strength you need so we finished sovereign of splash and we are getting a power gain of 450 percent didn't we go from 300 to 400 percent power gain from now 400 to 450 why the jump so small randomly <laughs> all right now we have to complete master of murky which is a 50 qa in each muscle which actually isn't that bad i actually was afking way too long and have done some of each muscle already please please let me work out and yes it's working nice so the bare minimum i need was 10 qa which funny enough i got that in all my muscles by accident but the reason i can lift weights even though it is red here because in most simulator games you can actually lift double the weight of the recommended i do use the free auto trainer but it's kind of terrible but the good thing about it is you can still click and it'll just go from one times to three times there is no way you need 100 qa to work out here bro i have to go back to the other gym for just a back workout all right we were speeding through that diver body altar but we can't do back here still but we need to remember to collect the daily weekly quest and the achievements because they give a lot of power-ups and gems i might need gems later and upgrade my trainer because her boots are actually nice too i just can't believe it this only happens with back because of the weight distribution is different this one is a cable workout and the others are just regular plates but oh well all right we are finally done and i'm out of here we should never be required to come back after this because you could just start to feel how slow the workout is i wonder if in the future of swim league we will get another back workout because the one we have right now is kind of scuffed okay finally master murky is done and we will get a power gain of 500 percent i still don't get why we randomly gained 50 percent muscle instead of 100 like before how much you want to bet the next diver body alter is going to be another 100 percent boost ah uh, you see we did gain 100 percent power gain <laughs> you know what i think the other is 50 percent because that could possibly be the last body alter of the snowy gym but now we have to work out king of kelp which needs 400 qa in each muscle but you know what it should be fast in this desert gym bro the muscle boost i'm getting from serena is actually broken we just did an insane speed run on this diver body alter and she's only a level one trainer which makes things even more wild but that's it king of kelp done with a power gain of 600 percent being given to us and wow after we upgrade this we will be on the 16th body alter of swim league has it really been 16 it doesn't really feel like it but hey we are putting a lot of hours into this whoa this body alter looks kind of crazy and it matches my equipment nice but we are on baron of backstroke and yeah 5 qi all right game that actually might be a lengthy grind how much you want to bet i need 10 qi to work out in the next gym i might stay here until i get it i'm not gonna lie we do get a power gain of 100 percent to our current one so things are looking good for us it is not that bad right now serena is kind of helping me but you definitely could feel these workouts are taking a longer time now as you guys can see i have a ton of power-ups that i never use and oh wait i just remembered there was a big update on swim league oh that's right it was clans actually i guess it's not called clans it's called clubs i guess i'm the clown for thinking that it does cost 2k gems to create but i wonder what's the benefits because i've looked around and not seen any information on it i mean i can create the club if people are interested in joining because if we could get a club boost where we all gain a muscle boost and i'm so down to do it if someone has any more information about it let me know because 2k gems is really expensive but with that being said we have finished another body altar and now we're going to ascend to the next level i always find it interesting that they call it ascend instead of just upgrade 
made but hey it still works now we got dukes of dives nice these names are pretty interesting too and we get another power gain of 800 percent whoa now we're talking we are getting pretty close to level 20 and a power gain of 100 percent and we need 20 qy so yeah i don't think we can work out in the next gym just yet i'm gonna do it guys i'm going to the next gym early there's like an 80 percent chance i can't even work out there but hey mods are looking pretty good we also got first place in the swimming competition so that's a really good sign that we could move on all right let's just go we need to unlock this final gym but hey worst case scenario we could just get new pets but yeah 15.62 trillion dollars and it seems like a jungle type gym and no it is a jungle center oh yeah that should look cool the gym isn't that much different it actually looks like the snowy map almost identical but we have a ton of equipment and we need to equip them because i'm pretty sure most of these are over three times what my old snow ones are two times oh yeah that's what i'm talking about but hey let me be honest if there's one thing i like about swim league it's the equipments because they really do match and look nice but we are now in the jungle and not the desert anymore so this outfit might look out of place actually hold up let's do one mid-tier vending machine because i am curious and yo with 2.66k on a common pet nah i'm telling you guys these pets are going to do crazy numbers for us we do have two of them so we are going to equip them and level them up because instead of deleting the pets you could just add them to the stronger ones i don't see a reason why you should be deleting pets honestly yeah we are cooked we can't work out we're just way too weak let's just go back to the desert and lift weights and once we finish there we will just come back bro these two pets i have that give me over 2k muscle boost just made this so much easier i'm glad i went to get stronger pets but we finished duke of dives and we will be getting ourselves a power gain of 800 percent and i have a strong feeling i might not be strong enough for the jungle gym either now we got knight of kicks bro what does this have to do with swimming what the what is his name seems like they are using a randomizer to make the names because they are starting to look strange but we need 500 qi to level up this diver body altar nah i think we are cooked we will gain a 900 percent power gain though so there's that yo what is this why are there so many pets is this all to one person yo how does he have 15 pets can we actually have a total of 15 pets yo that's amazing i'm gonna assume we have to spend a lot of robux to do that turns out we aren't that strong enough to work out in the other gym so this means we have to just work out in the desert until then once i'm able to go i should be finalizing the last body altar because i'm pretty sure we have like 10 left which seems like a lot kind of seems like we needed a few more gyms but hey that's all good hey i'm not gonna lie these equipments are actually looking really nice today is gonna be a video i've done the most progress rest only because the body alters are getting harder and harder so they take longer time but due to me not being strong enough i am going to do some swimming competitions and try to unlock some better pets before i go to the desert gym to work out because sadly i'm not strong enough for the jungle gym just yet okay so i think that should be enough for one more mid-tier vending machine roll and now i should be able to get three good pets before i go back and it is a 2.66k pet nice so it seems like my luck is terrible and i just keep getting uncommon pets but hey these pets will speed up the desert gym regardless of what i got as long as is new i hope it's just one more body altar i have to do here and then i could go back because most of the reason why i can't work out in the new gym is because of the back muscles for some reason training back is way more difficult than the other muscles which is why i said before maybe it's time to get a new back workout that's similar to the other ones or future gyms have a new workout but with the new pets we shouldn't be here too long I hope. Remember when I said this should be fast? Nah, this took way longer than I thought. The issue is when you are trying to load up the new way so you could train faster, the gap is too far. Like to trade from 400 billion to 800 billion, you will need a crazy amount of total power to even try it. This is another reason why you can't move on to the next gym early. For some reason, I get so many spins and oh wait, wait, wait did we just get a rare pet from the spin? No way. And we did get the 20k pet. That is insane. This pet is going to legit carry me super hard. I'm going to be honest, I can't tell if it's helping me, but I hope it is because it is 10 times stronger than my current pets. But since we finished back, we should be done with this body altar pretty fast. I'm just trying to work out in the jungle gym already. All right, finally, we are done with this body altar. Now let's move on. So Night of Kicks is done and we are going to be moving on to level 19, which gives us a power gain of 900%. Wow, that's even crazier. Whoa, this body altar looks kind of crazy. Now hold up. The name is called Lord of Lakes, but I look like magma. Could they have not given this? another name maybe they could have called it lord of fire lakes i mean wouldn't that make more sense or is it just me ah uh, whatever but we need to get four aa in every muscle so that might be a little bit tough turns out i lied and we still need one more body altar before moving on and you know what i'm doing back later because back takes so long to complete if i thought the last body altar was taking long this was gonna be way worse i have been using boost and the boost do give you a 50 percent increase which i wish it was a hundred percent but 
Oh well. I'm going to do a swimming competition because I want to see if I could get first place. Oh, and never mind. We got first place instantly. Well, all right. I guess we could now move on to the next gym after we finish this body altar. Oh man, I was not looking forward to this. Sometimes I'll be like, maybe I should go to the other gym to see if I can work out back there. But obviously that's just not going to happen. But you know what? Back is done and now we can actually live a dream and go work out in the next gym. Hey, not going to lie. I like how this body altar looks like and the equipment makes it look even cooler. Lord of Lakes is done and now we can get the next level, which is level 20 for a power gain of a thousand percent. Nice. Now we're on Viscount of Vortex, which will be 49.99 AA to finish each muscle. Oh no. But hold up. Check this out. We get a 200% power gain when we level up. So now they're increasing by 200% every time. Yeah, we need to get that boost because these body altars will take longer to complete. Or maybe we get lucky and get another pet from the daily spin. All right, let's try to work out. And whoa, look at this. Man, sometimes I just like to look at this and think maybe it's time for me to start buying some game passes, but not just yet. I'm actually trying to complete Swim League as a free-to-play player, but maybe later on we will start to struggle. All right, we did this body altar pretty fast, and now all we have to do is back. There is no way I clicked the first one, and it's 10 AA, and I'm only at 4 AA. This means I legit have to go to the old gym and get just 1 AA, and then I can work out back here. Bruh. I think before I go back, I'm going to upgrade my trainer, even if it's just one or two levels, because her boost is pretty strong as well. The only issue is I don't have enough trophies because, well, because the only way you could get trophies is by claiming them, but I need to figure out a way soon how I can farm them because I would love to have a maxed out trainer eventually. I can't believe I need to come back just to go from four to a five and then I can start working out over there. Like, isn't that proof that the workouts are uneven or am I just crazy? But oh well, at least it's just for a short amount of time. All right, let's get out of here. I'm just happy I never have to see the desert gym again because I was here for so long. Ah, yes, you guys don't know how this feels. Not only are we in a new gym, but since the weights are heavier, we will train at a much faster pace now. But I'm pretty sure soon we will be getting one or two new gyms because we have a lot of body alters and swim league that are way stronger than this gym. All right, that is done. And look how fast that was since we are in a stronger gym now. But that is Viscount of Vortex done. And now we're moving on to level 21, which will be a power gain of 1200%, as I said before. Now we got Nereed Navigator, which is an interesting name. Doesn't really follow the flow of the other body alter names. But hey, each muscle is going to max out at 199.99 AA. Yay. I'm so excited, but at least we are in a new gym and gain power faster. I'm also doing some swimming competitions to see where I'm at because I do want to be ready to move on to the next gym when it is released. And yeah, as expected, we're going super slow and it seems like we're in fourth place. So I'm probably not going to do a swimming competition until I finish two more body alters because we need to be at least an AB and right now we're in AA. I used the high tier vending machine a few times and nice, we got a legendary pet that gives us an 8.36k boost. Wow. So that means the pet from the spin is way stronger and the only way to get a similar pet is in a new gym. We also got new equipment which are always well designed but these boosts are so good. And since we are in the jungle gym we will be getting boosts that are close to 5 times rather than 3 times we had before. I need to start using these boosts because I've been stacking them for a while and I barely use them. I think I want to use boosts on 4 different occasions so now from here on now I should start using them. I can't lie this body auto was kind of tough because to go from green plates to blue plates the power required to lift it was crazy. So since we're too weak we just had to use the green plates only and slowly max out this body altar but oh well we finished it and that's the level 21 body altar done and now we can move on to level 22 that gives us a power gain of 1400 oh yeah now we got abyss ascendant which is a 5 ab every muscle yikes this one might be some trouble but i do love the power gain still increasing by 200 every time we get a new body altar bro i just realized we got a second rare pet from the daily spin there is no way the only reason i checked my pets is because i wanted to see how much robux does it cost to have more pets and boom here we are now we have two pets over 20k which will help us out a lot nah i can see the difference we're getting power pretty fast and i wish there was a way we could fill up the pump bar even faster like maybe we can earn some equipment to help us out or boost that can help us out but hey i can't complain too much we have no stamina to worry about at least oh and we got a new update while we were training so we did get a new gym new world six nice nice and they did update the auto trainer from two times to three times which i was wondering when they were gonna do that because it didn't feel worth getting the auto trainer and now we could receive gems and races wow but i kind of wish we could also get trophies and we got four new trainers which are probably ones you could buy with robux and we got a new pet index which i already thought we had and no lag when using clicker and fix known bugs nice it's a pretty solid update overall we did finish back arms and legs and i think that should be enough power
power to be able to move on to the next gym. But just to be sure we can, let's do a swimming competition. Because if we could get first place, then yeah, that's a pretty good indicator that we could move on. And yeah, we just tossed the competition and we we're getting first place pretty easily. So now let's farm some money and unlock the next gym because I am pretty excited to see this. So now we got the money. Let's go check out this new gym because getting the money for it didn't take that long. Wow, the next gym only costs 71.81 QA. That is pretty cheap. I'm surprised Swim League let gym unlocks be so cheap. But oh well, we got Mine Spring Bay, which is an interesting place to lift weights and swim. But hey, I can't complain. We already worked out and went swimming in the winter, so I guess that's fine there. I got some new equipment to put on because I want to try to work out here, but I highly doubt it will be possible. Because as you know, the back muscles tend to be the reason I can never work out in a new gym. For some reason, the fire wings I have on right now are still stronger than the juggle gym wings. But hey, I guess I'm going to keep wearing the fire wings until we do the swimming competition in the new gym. Let's not forget to upgrade our trainer Serena because I just got a ton of trophies from claiming them from the achievements. And wow, Serena is going to give us a 90% growth and 60% money. That is beautiful. But now that we did that, let's go check out if we could work out in the new gym, which I highly doubt. Yeah, as expected, guys, I can't use a single workout here, but that was to be expected, sadly. But hey, at least we unlocked the new gym, but sadly, we have to work out in the jungle gym for maybe one or two more body alters. I'm going to be honest, guys, the end for the Swim League series might come sooner than later. But you know what? I'm going to try to wiggle myself through to the last body alter, but if I can't, then you'll know why. But if you look at my stats, I have the chest, arms, abs, and legs like 70% done, and I just finished back right now. This actually took me a very long time to do, and I'm also still free to play, by the way. So to complete the rest, it's going to take me a day, probably. Okay, that took a lot of time, but that's Deep Dominator completed. And we will be gaining a power gain of 2200%. Nice, level 26 unlocked, and we have finished a lot of body alters so far. And now we got Neptune's Novice, and we will need 49.99 AC for each muscle. Oh no, guys, we are in trouble. We will be getting a 2400% power gain, but I'm starting to notice this isn't going to help me that much. Oh yeah, we are in big trouble. And the main issue is this wouldn't be this long if back was fixed. Like if you see down here, for me to go from 100 QA to 200 QA, it's a lot of total power needed. For 100 QA, you need 13 AC, but for 200 QA, you need 40 AC. Like that jump in power is so crazy. That's why it feels so slow to complete. If there was like an in-between way to help you level up faster, that would be fine, but there isn't. But I think in general, the game is kind of showing where being free to play ends, and I think I have hit the peak. I believe now you will need game passes from here on now, and even the extra pets. But what I don't like about this is you need to buy everything in a shop to even have a chance. Now, if you needed to buy, say, the auto trainer and plus two pets, that's fine. That ain't that bad. But you also need to buy the 100% muscle boost, the VIP pass, and even I don't think that's enough. You know what? Let's go to the swimming competition and earn us some new equipment. And at the same time, we can stack up money to buy some new pets because we need every little help we can get, honestly. I think if we get lucky and get the best equipment in this new gym, we can gain more muscle, but that might be kind of rare. Also, the new pets here should be super strong, but I, I got a feeling they aren't. I'm going to be so mad if they are only slightly stronger than the daily spin pet. The daily spin pet is a 28 times muscle boost pet, I think. I kind of wish the pet boost was a little bit stronger, similar to gym stars. In gym stars, if you were to reach the last gym, most of the pets over there are over 1 million muscle boost. And I'm going to be honest, you can feel the difference the pets make. And the issue with the pets in swim league, they don't do that much work. All right, we got new equipment and they are pretty much stronger than what I got now. Now, I still think this won't be enough because it's not like the boost is that crazy. Like if the wing I have right now, for example, gives us a 4.31 times boost and the new wing might give us a 6.21 times boost. So it is more, but I don't think that's enough to make that much of a difference. I feel like they would have to boost there from 6 all the way to maybe 8, 9, even 10. And to get first place in the swimming competition in this gym, it is pretty tough. I'm going to be honest with you. We are going to use the vending machine to see if we can get some strong pets and oh, I just saw the strongest pet gives you a 51.76 times boost. And oh yeah, GG's. 28.48 times pet is terrible. And to make things even worse, I don't think we've ever gotten a strong lucky pet ever. The only pets I've ever gotten was uncommon weak ones. Finally a better pet, but it's not even that much better. Oh, like I'm telling you guys, we are cooked. I don't think there's a future in Swim League for us. Well, I'm out of money and I got nothing. Nice. So you know what that means, guys? We are still in the mud. Yeah, we are now poor and weak. What a great combination. But you know what? We have to try though. I know many of you are going to say, why aren't you using the boost? You must have a lot of them. And I have. I tried the 20%, the 50%, and the 100% on the last body alter. And it didn't make that much of a difference or I didn't notice at all. I even use them all at the same time and I don't even think that works. 
it feels like we need to stack everything in the game together to even see a difference so yeah i do have a lot of boosts saved up because i did say in the past i was going to use them when i really needed them and when i really need them it doesn't even help me at all sadly but you know what i think can make a difference in swim league even though we don't have a stamina bar maybe a training speed increase would help us they can possibly give training speed to equipment to help because i think that's something we are missing in this game if you were to play a game like gym league you can see the difference training speed does in gym league they have equipment and power-ups that can help you with training and when you stack those up together you can see just how fast you go and how much more power you gain oh yeah before i forget we also have a club where you could join with friends to earn rewards but i don't think that gives you a muscle boost which i'm surprised it doesn't i mean yeah you get power-ups trophies gems but an extra muscle boost wouldn't hurt and i'm pretty sure the friend boost is limited unless you have premium so yeah it's pretty weird oh this game is trolling me right now there is no way i got another rare pet from the spin bro why can't this luck go to the pet vending machine when i'm trying to get the best pet in the game but sadly this rare pet is outdated and at the moment it is slightly weaker than the final gym pets but hey at least i could use my old pets to make my current ones even stronger by feeding them and i know some of you guys are going to say but why aren't you just farming pets so you get the strongest ones and the answer is i've tried you got to remember at the same time i'm too weak to farm a lot of money because training takes forever in order to earn a lot of money you have to have a high total power and when you have a high total power you can win swimming competitions like the gap from winning first place and third place rewards is actually pretty high all right i got one more idea let's go see if we can upgrade our trainer serena but i highly doubt it's gonna make that big of a difference and no i just remembered we do have those trainers we could buy i'm pretty sure the strongest trainer we could buy was 70 dollars or something like that yeah it was something super high and swim league is crazy thinking anyone is gonna buy that there is no way i need a trainer that expensive to survive in this game because if that's their intention that's crazy i guess i gotta go on a spending spree to have a fighting chance but even though i said before the trainers are expensive i just noticed most games with trainers tend to offer free ones that are as strong as the ones you buy of course in those games you have to complete like some sort of task to get those free trainers which take a long time but hey at least it's a different option games like gym stars also offer a friend trainer that gives you a boost as well so maybe we could get that here too because we need something extra now hold up it did take me a day to finish back so let's see if another workout could do it even faster because if it can't yeah we are definitely cooked it might be the end if this body alter takes me like five days to complete it's wraps see if this was maybe the last or second to last body alter it's fine it's worth the grind but i'm pretty sure we still have like seven or eight more body alters to go which is crazy to think about because i'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that how am i going to complete those body alters if i'm struggling on this one yo just look at this we actually have 10 more body alters to go but wait a minute is it me or did they add in the last update more body alters because i have no memory of seeing the bottom four they must be new i might have to check my old videos to see because i'm pretty sure they were added recently to make it even worse i have no idea what's the most recent body alter to have finished before waiting for the next gym like i really don't know what's the last body alter for this gym i'm going to assume it's the one i'm on right now because i am struggling on it actually wait i think i know which body alter is the last one so lately i've been doing swimming competitions and the highest i get is third place so the truth is i need to basically unlock two more body alters and then i have reached the last body alter of this gym but the reality is for free to play players it ends right here the only way you can continue in this game is to invest hundreds of hours into this game just to finish one muscle and for me that ain't it i had the intentions of buying game passes but i noticed early on that the game passes were kind of weak like for example the muscle boost one only gives you 100 percent muscle boost while in other games it would give you as high as 400 percent muscle boost which as you can see 400 percent would make a massive difference in any game but if you enjoy swim league which i mean it's a very fun game you should keep playing it but for me when it depends on pay to win to progress it it really doesn't make it fun for me anymore if there was a balance between free to play and play to win then yeah i'd be like let's keep playing why not but i think for now that's pretty much it for me the next thing to do is reflect back on the crazy progress we have done on swim league but yeah that's pretty much for the series there's only one more thing to do if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you the next one peace